There are tons of photo editing apps out there. Let me narrow this list down and show you which ones I think they're best and how to use them. Yes, Photoshop is great, but do you want something more portable? Still pro, and why not free? Only using your phone. You can use it while you commute to work, to school, I don't know, when you're in the bathroom. Because we don't always carry our big camera, DSLR, but we always carry our phone with us. So you can take a picture like this one and get it looking like this one. Or this one and get it looking like this. Only using your phone. How? Very simple. First one, Snapseed. A lot of people use it and there's a reason for it. You open the picture, then you click this pencil icon and all this goodness comes up. Tools, filters, tune image, details, we'll go over them. Now we want to tune the image. You can tap the image and scroll up and down to select what you want to work with. This funny button here makes automatic adjustments. I don't really want them now. You can scroll left and right to increase or decrease the brightness or whatever you're working with. I want to start by modifying the brightness. Maybe a little contrast up there. You want to click the tick and it saves it. Then let's add some, uh, yeah, some details. I really like this one because it gives you very sharp edges. The structure gives a very nice texture to it. By tapping the picture, you can see the before and after applying those edits. Next up, I like to use this filter, it's called Drama. Boom. I mean, you can do that manually, but you know, I have a filter, so you might as well. Then you can adjust the filter strength and the saturation. I want to crop this image because I want to make it square. I think it'll look better. You lower. All right, sweet. Oh, that's looking quite nice. I want to make this image black and white, so we'll select the black and white. Down here, you already have some presets. I like the image quite contrasted. Then I'm going to up the brightness a little bit. Now check that out. Tap this back arrow. Then down here, you have something called view edits. You're gonna see all the edits and you click on the edit you want. You click this middle button, this brush, hit this eye, then you can paint. It's not painting, just hold on a second. Hit the eye again, boom. It applies the edit only to this section you've painted. Now there's this filter called grunge and let's tap it. Uh, I don't like the texture of it, but you'll see. Right now it looks like shit. Let's do this so it doesn't look dark on the corners. Bring the style. You can choose the style you want. I want it very moody. Up the brightness a little bit. And we go from this to that. Not bad. Then when you're happy with it, I'm happy with it, you hit save. Then if you click save a copy, what it will do, it will save a copy with all the edits you've done so you can come back to it and modify them. Then you can hit export and it will export a JPEG. Sweet, next up, lens distortions. This one effects that are pretty cool that you do with Photoshop or some other editing tool. I don't think it's gonna look good in this picture. Yeah, not this one. By pinching, you can zoom it in or zoom it out. You can move it around. Then you can change the blur. You can change the brightness. You can change the opacity. I want to add some shimmer to it. Let's see, uh, not quite rain, not quite stars. To add a second filter, add layer, and then choose another one. Otherwise, you'll be changing what you just did. Let me show you other things like fog. So you can add fog here, that does not look good. Light leaks. That's quite sweet too. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't look nice. That's not bad actually. Same stuff. This doesn't really make sense for this picture because it's very cloudy and to see the sun right there would not make sense. Swipe left, remove. Save, save image, done. And that's it. I think with those apps, you can get some pretty awesome looking pictures. You don't need to use them all at once, caking effects on top of each other to make like, not necessary. I mean, you can, hey, if that's what you want. Some of them might turn out looking like shit. Some of them will turn out looking awesome. Let me know if you have any thoughts, ideas, questions of anything you want me to cover. And I will. Go take pictures, edit them, post them, make art, and show the world what you're capable of. Have an awesome day.